Hey, so since the release of Fortnite Season 4, the game has been feeling a bit laggy and chunky. One new change that Epic has made behind the scenes is that they fixed DX12. Prior to Season 4, DX12 was just the same as DX11 and the two of them were using the same technologies to render out the game. Before I talk about the differences between DX11 and DX12, I just want to say that your results may vary depending on what system you have. To start off, DX11 also known as DirectX 11 is currently the most used interface for handling newer games such as Fortnite and Warzone. DirectX 11 and DirectX 12 are very similar but with one key difference being that DX11 renders the game with one CPU core and DX12 rendering the game with multiple cores. In short, if you have a decent CPU with over 4 cores, you have a better and smoother experience with DX12 in Fortnite. Keep in mind that some graphics cards do not support DX12. Any GPU that was released since 2015 should all be compatible with DX12. If we were to compare the peak FPS between the two versions, DX11 will almost always be higher, whereas the average FPS should always be better on the DX12. If you do decide to try DX12, keep in mind that the game will be very laggy and chunky for the first few days depending on how much you play, because DX12 has another key feature of storing in-game graphics in a file. Basically, if we have a tree on the Fortnite map, the X12's feature will remember that tree's texture so that it doesn't need to re-render the tree every time you see it. It puts less stress on your computer and therefore giving you more FPS. The more you explore the Fortnite map with DX12 on, the game should feel smoother and smoother until it has finished rendering and storing the graphics. This is also why in every new season, the game feels horrible during the first few days. Last thing I want to mention about DX12 is that the technology is still in beta and can be very buggy. I found that alt tabbing with DX12 can cause crashes and sometimes it takes a while for the Fortnite map to load. With that said, I do recommend everyone trying DX12 for a few days and see if it's better. Here are some gameplay comparisons between DX11 and DX12.